Where's that go? Today we're going to be talking about the volume of cylinders. But first of all, let's review circles. So do you guys remember that the, the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is your radius of your circle. And your diameter of your circle, or 2r, is equal to your diameter. So you have two radiuses that make up that distance across a circle. All right, so let's work on a problem first. Just to review, what is the area of a circle with the radius of 2? Area equals pi r squared, right, like we said. So now let's plug in 2 for the radius. So now we get area equals, or a, equals pi 2 squared. So our area is 4 pi. Let's just leave it in terms of pi today. That way we won't have to figure out plugging it in our calculator just for easiness, okay? So now let's look at the volume of a cylinder. So we have our circle here, which is the top of the cylinder, and then we have a circle at the bottom. Now there's a height between them. That's, that's what creates a cylinder. So let's look at maybe an easier an illusion, right? So we have a lot of circles stacked up on top of each other for height h. So our volume is going to be equal to pi r squared, which is our circle, our area of our circle, times height. That seems simple, right? So we have our two circles, or just kind of pretty much infinite amount of circles, but for that amount, for that height. So that's what we have here. Our volume is equal to pi r squared times our height. Now, let's, let's, let's do a problem. We have, what is the volume of a circle with a radius of 4 inches and a height of 8 inches? All right, so volume is equal to pi r squared times height. Our radius is 4 inches, and our height is 8 inches. So make sure you bring along those units because that's very important. Now, we have volume is equal to pi, 4 inches squared, which is our radius, times our height, 8 inches. So now we'll square our radius unit. So we have volume is equal to pi, 16 inches squared, because it's an area unit, and then times 8 inches. Okay? Now let's take it to the final step. Volume is equal to pi, 128 inches cubed, because we're looking in three dimensions. We're looking at the volume. Any questions? How's everyone feeling with this? Great. Let's move on. Now let's do this problem. What is the volume of a cylinder with a diameter of 10 inches? and a height equal to the three times the radius in inches. All right, so it's a little bit more complicated this time. Let's take it step by step and figure out, first of all, what our radius is, because our, our volume formula is in terms of radius. So our diameter times a half, or divided by two, is equal to our radius. So if our diameter, like our problem tells us, is 10, then our radius is 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Our radius is then can be plugged into the equation, but first we also need to find our height before we move on to there. So our height is equal to 3 times the radius in inches. So let's make an, let's make an equation. So our height is equal to 3 times our radius. Well, we just found out what our radius was, so let's plug that in. So we have our height times 3 or three times five inches. So our height is 15 inches. Now let's plug all that in together into our volume equation. So our volume is equal to pi r squared times height, right? So let's plug in pi times five inches, which is our radius squared, times 15 inches, our height. So now plug and chug pi 25 inches squared times 15 inches. Our final answer then is pi, 375 inches cubed. And that's really important to make sure you have your units there and make sure the units are cubed or you will be counted off. That's very important. How's everything going now? Are you ready for one more problem? Sounds great, guys. You're doing good. And then you gotta practice, practice a lot of these at home and you can come with questions tomorrow. So what is the volume of a, what is the volume of a jar with a radius of two inches and a height of four inches. The lid has a volume of two inches, two pi inches cubed. What is the total volume of the jar? That's one question. And then what is the height of the lid? So in the problem, it tells us that the, the radius of the lid is equal to the radius of the jar. So our, our little figure right there is not drawn to scale. So don't let that fool you. So let's first of all, look at the volume of the jar. So our volume of our jar is equal to pi r squared times height. So we know our radius is 2 inches, 
so two inches squared, and our height of the jar is four inches. So now let's try to find out what our height of the lid is, because we don't know. We know that it's two pi inches cubed, and our radius is the same. So we can write a write the formula out as the, the volume of the lid is equal to pi, two inches squared, because we know that, times h, which is our variable. So now we need to solve for that variable. So two pi inches cubed is equal to, right here, is equal to pi, four inches squared, times height. So now we're going to divide both sides by pi, four inches squared, and that gives us one inch is the height of the lid. So now we can, that's the one answer solved, what is the height of the lid, and now we can find the total volume because that's actually given to us in the problem, so we can just add both of those up. So our final, our final equation for volume of a jar is four inches squared times four, four inches, which is the height, and that gives us 16 pi inches cubed, and we can add that to our two pi inches cubed from the from the lid. So we have our lid and our jar, and now we have our total volume of 18 pi inches cubed. Inches cubed, our volume in three dimensions. Do you guys have any questions?